A promising new study says the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines could provide protection from coronavirus for years. Right now, 66% of eligible adults here in the U.S. have received at least one dose of the vaccine. Eva Pilgrim is at the vaccination site at the Javis Center here in New York. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Robin. Really positive news about these two vaccines. This study looked at two key factors, the type of immune response these vaccines produced, but also time, how long our body produced those responses. And scientists say based on that information, it appears these vaccines hold up. This morning, another development in the fight against COVID. A new study finding that the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines could offer significant protection that could last years. Scientists calling it promising. The best case scenario, this probably will last for the life of the person who successfully got immunization with the two doses of the vaccine. The study published in the journal Nature showed that mRNA vaccines like Pfizer and Moderna produced high levels of neutralizing antibodies and those important B cells which help support the immune system. But instead of peaking after a week or two, researchers found nearly four months later there was still a strong immune response, essentially training the body long term to fight off infection. The Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine was not considered in the study. This news coming amid concerns about the highly contagious Delta variant now confirmed in 49 states. In L.A. County, the largest county in the country, officials are recommending all residents wear masks indoors to protect against the Delta variant. And areas with low vaccination rates seeing the variant spreading rapidly. In Missouri, the Delta variant responsible for nearly 30 percent of the state's new cases. Hospitalizations there are up 42 percent in the last month. And the variant's still the wild card here. The scientists in that promising study say, yes, the vaccines hold up well right now, but how they perform in the future really depends on how this virus mutates and those variants. Robin. And Eva, there's an unrelated new study out of the UK about mixing vaccines. What can you tell us about that? That's right, Robin. So this study looked at mixing Pfizer and AstraZeneca, and it showed that mixing and matching the vaccine does work. But of course, that only applies in countries where AstraZeneca has been approved. So not here in the United States, but this is a global pandemic. So this is really welcome news to those countries that are struggling to get enough vaccine to vaccinate their population. Robin. That's true. All right, Eva, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.